we're now going to use the distance formula. We're going to show you where it comes from and how to use it. And so the idea is if we have two points on a graph, suppose we have the point 2, 4 and the point 5, 8, then we go over 2 and up 4, there's one point. Another one is just 3 more and 4 more. And we want to know how long this orange line is. So the way we're going to find the distance here is we're going to create a new point that takes the y value of one and the x value of the other. And it doesn't matter which way you do this, but I'm going to take the y of the first point and the x of the second point. And I get a point right here at pi four. And notice when I do this, this creates a nice, perfect right triangle. And so this length right here is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And we know that the right triangle has a Pythagorean theorem. And the Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this is a, and this is b, and this is c. So we're trying to find the c. Well, what's a? Notice that it's just this length from here to here. And since the y is the same, it's just the difference in the x's. So it's 5 minus 2, and that's a. B is the difference in the y's, so it's 8 minus 4. So if we plug these in, we get 5 minus 2 squared plus 8 minus 4 squared equals c squared. Well, that's 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared, which is 9 plus 16, which is 25. And since our c can't be negative, when we take the square root, we get that the c is just the positive 5. So this is 3 units, this is 4 units, and this happens to be 5 units across. So the formula that we use is derived directly off of these and being plugged into here and solving for c. Let's change it, since we're talking about distance, let's make it a d. The distance between two points is the square root of the x values subtracted plus the y values subtracted. So all we need to do is correctly use the right points, plug them into the right places, and we get our answer. So let's suppose we have the following points minus 4, minus 1, and 2, 2. Well, this means our distance is equal to the square root of a quantity squared plus a quantity squared with a minus in between them. So we're going to put our blue in first, because that's our x1 and our x2, and it goes in the second spot. We put our y into the first spot, and we recognize when we subtract a negative, that's the same as adding. So 2 minus a minus 4 is really 6. And 2 minus minus 1 is 2 plus 1, which is really a 3. Now we just square those values, so we get 36 plus 9, which is 45, and the square root of 45 simplifies as 5 and 9. So the 9 comes out, and my distance between these points is really 3 square roots of 5 units long. And so as long as you can line your points up and plug them in, you'll always get the right answer. And it doesn't matter which one we call x2 or y2 or x1 and y1. What matters is that we're consistent with our placement of x2 and y2.